Jesse, and we're Wobble Family Adventures. Uh, man, we had a we had a rough one today. Uh, it was it was rough. It was pretty bad. We got stuck, bent a wheel, about flipped a building, about sunk the building in the mud. Yep. What else, Jesse? I was gonna say it's just another typical day in the building mess business. Just a mess for sure. Oh yeah, making a mess everywhere I go. Mm -hmm. I'm on my mind. No, it's just one of the things you come across. And all you people that's gonna call me, I need to trap you or that trap you would have done a lot more damage than I did. <laughs> but yeah, we uh it was a 16 by 40 uh, repo requested pickup today. Um glad I was able to be there and get some footage of it. Oh yeah, it was a great one. Perfect. We'll let y'all see for yourself. Let's get into the video. I'm gonna go measure it. I didn't go through that gate when I brought it in. Well, about two inches. Too wide? You'll have two inches.
pulling the truck backwards. to just try to back under it. Literally bent the dolly wheel in half. Like it is folded over like a taco. supposed to be straight. Well, they got a new irrigation system. Oh, yeah, they're not going to be happy at all. Well, this is a first for me. I've never seen this much mess left behind or that bigger ruts. I feel sorry for them people that are gonna be upset, which I would be too. I would be so mad if somebody did that to my yard. I don't even like the kids writing it up with four wheelers or nothing. Maybe they'll try to fill it in best they can before we leave. Yeah, I see them. <laughs> when he says landmines, he's talking about piles of dog mess. <laughs>
Now Jesse's trying to fix that back there. Fill it back in best he can. Not a whole lot we can do. But he's doing what he can. Figured he would. That's crazy. That's nuts. So do you think, Austin was thinking that when it come off, the top side got bent up somehow and all the weight on the front and bent the front. Oh, it my head. No, I figured it out. So, what it is, the skin is sitting on it like this. Otherwise, it would have been back top. It would have been slid off. Oh, the way it goes. It's not good. What? I thought all the way it goes, it's not good. Either way it hit, it's still bent. Yeah, it's still bent. Too bad, it's gonna kill me. Okay. What? <laughs> <laughs> I'll, I'll try to get low enough to pull it. I can't do it. <laughs> got all that money. Back your truck over here. Watch that wheel. Watch that tire. Praise the Lord. It's still not off the tire. Plug your channel, Ethan. Huh? You want to plug your channel? Oh yeah. So if y'all like anything hunting, fishing, bow fishing, duck hunting, anything like that, go check out my channel right here. Extreme Country. You won't be disappointed. Thank y'all. Thanks, Brandon. You're welcome.
Now you know right here, people are gonna be commenting, you should get a track mule, you should get a track oh, mule. Yeah. Now, that track mule would've something worse than that one, didn't it? <laughs> I was gonna say, number one, track mule would be around 50K and it would've even tore the yard up more than that. Because even on soft ground, a track mule te tears up everything. That's the most common question we hear is, you know, why don't you get a track mule? But here's the inside of the building if y'all want to see it. With y'all's matching hoodies, y'all look like the extreme team. Hey, Ethan, don't your mom sell your hoodies in her shop? Yep. yep. So y'all can go to Native Soul and Co. And get an Extreme Country hoodie <laughs> if y'all would like one like Ethan's hoodie here. I think he also has hats and other colors too. Watch out wiping your hands. You might get a landmine. Yeah, no kidding. That'd be bad. I'd get a landmine. Ah! I don't think I've ever seen you get stuck that bad. Well, I, I could honestly say that's not the worst I've ever had. It's the worst I've ever seen. Yeah, uh, we've, we've had a lot worse where it took my truck and two other trucks and the machine to get it out. So, what about that time you had to call a record? Yeah, that was the time I had to call a record. That was about two. Yeah. Which way? Go right. Go right, you won't get left. Alaska right. Right. <laughs> Quit confusing him, Jesse. Oh, it's a lower right. <laughs> <laughs> hmm. Well, I got a house coming up. They're going in a ditch, y'all. We got to hit the ditch. I can only go so far. I'm a whole lot heavier than he is. I would sink, and not in a good way. Oh yeah, that's why I like them right there. Slow the way down, get on way on the shoulder. They getting off the road into somebody's driveway. There you go. Both of them hit the driveways. While they're unloading, I'll show y'all a couple buildings here. It's a cute little playhouse. Yeah, she's got a few nice cabins. I'll go in them and let y'all look at them if they're open. This one already has the electrical package in it. Storage up top. two lofts it's ten percent off so this one right here is only twelve fifty five it is a twelve by thirty two and it's new so there you go let me shut that door and this is a lot that Jesse takes care of so 
If you do buy a building from here, he'll be the one to deliver it. Here's another 10% off one. 12.078. This one's a 12 by 36 cabin. It's a repo cabin right across. A few storage buildings, just regular storage. Barns and utilities. This one looks like it's got an electrical package or they were going to put one in here. It's a repo. Okay, it looks like they had started on the floor a little bit. Got some paneling, a little bit, little bit of electrical. Sold as is, 12 by 32 cabin, 10, 600. So there you go. That's a pretty good deal right there. Again, this is in Hot Springs. I'm trying to look. There's a Dollar General across. There's a Subway. There's this billboard right here. I'm not from Hot Springs, so. If you're from the Hot Springs area and you recognize any of these uh, places around, you'll be able to find it. There's a, a Tedder outdoor power equipment give you a better idea of exactly where it's located so if you're in hot springs you can maybe look up that outdoor power equipment and it's right beside it or not but give y'all a look it's got big nice windows and shutters and it's locked but i did give y'all a little view on the inside earlier so i don't know if all the doors are locked or not ah this one's open good deal so again let me see the info on this now this is what's on there still from last time. So it'll be even more than this. This is was just new. So this was the price of it new. So it'll probably be uh, a different percent. Usually repos are about 15% off. So it'll be way cheaper than that. But the info on this, it is a 16 by 40. Now this, this is just the price sheet of when the people we just got it from, this is what they were paying for it. So don't pay no attention to that. She'll have a new price sheet on it. That was just the original price. You have to get way back here. Let me get against the wall. I mean, it's a good amount of size in here. A lot of potential. We just got in the truck and look at this playhouse. There's another playhouse over there, y'all. It's pink with a blue trim, but it almost makes the pink look purple having that blue trim on there. You know the address of this, Jesse? Uh, 2600 Airport Road, Hot Springs, Arkansas. Okay. Well, that's all for today, guys. We hope you enjoyed the video. Hope you enjoyed seeing us get stuck in the mud trying to get out oh yeah always fun <laughs> please like and subscribe and remember we're still doing that giveaway and it'll be open until we hit 13,000. so go to our last video and see all the details our last two videos actually see all the details about our giveaway and please like subscribe comment see you next time